A nice thing that we haven't talked about yet is the fact that uh, some arithmetic operations also apply to, um, to values that are not numerical types. So for example, a very, very common operation is to join strings together using the plus symbol, the addition operator. So for example, let's say I have two um, string variables, for example, hello and Jose Luis. And what I want to do is given those two values, those variables, I want to concatenate them together. Um, I want to concatenate them together into a greet message, right? So something that I could do is I could say, I can create a new variable called message, which is going to be the value of the string greet plus the value of the string name. And if I concatenate those two together, then I have a compound string that is the result of putting one string right after the other. So for example, I'm going to try to log this message to the console and it's going to give me this result here. Hello, Jose Luis, right? However, um, you can see that this was not very, very clean because um, the two strings together um, actually were perfectly joined, obviously, uh, but probably if I want to make a message out of this, I want to have a white space between them. So something I can do also is like I can, while I am declaring this variable and giving it a value, I can also inline insert another string in the middle of these two, which can be just a white space. So for example, I can say the message is going to be the value, the, the value of greet plus a white space plus the value of name. So I have actually concatenated three strings, two of them being variables and one that is just this one off that I need specifically for this for this message. And if I run this code now, you can say hello, Jose Luis, and there's a white space here in the middle. And we can get even a little nicer by just saying I'm going to add at the beginning like an exclamation mark to just make the grid message more uh, epic, you know, hello, Jose Luis, how are you doing? You know, so this could be a hello world program or it could be anything. So this idea of uh, concatenating strings with the plus sign and even like doing inline and adding bits here and there is very, very common and you will use it a lot. So for example, you can use this, um, you could have, if I were debugging a very complex program, something that I could have done is I could have just said inline here in right line, I could just say, can you please write to the console the combination of this variable a white space, this other variable, and uh, this, this is also a very common operation to do. And the result of this would have been uh, the exact same message. I don't have to store it in a variable. I can just, for the sake of printing this to the console once, I can just stitch all of this together, print it to the console, and then be done with it. It depends on what you want, if you need it for uh, further reuse or, or not. All right. So this was string concatenation.